On this Labor Day, we got thinking about what must be one of the, the toughest jobs for any elected official in Colorado. How would you like to be the elected RTD director who represents Longmont? So, director, how about that train that we paid four years ago? Ah, it'll be here in 2050. That sounds like a brutal job to have, and perhaps why it's so hard to find someone who wants it. Here's Steve Steger. RTD has, in my opinion, a contractual obligation with the taxpayers. To That's Austin Ward's take on a vote that happened in 2004, back when he was in elementary school. The 24-year-old CU grad who's been driving buses for RTD for the past four years thinks he can get that train moving. I recognize uh, their frustration with RTD. Ward wanted to run for RTD's District I board position on this November's ballot. District I represents, among other cities, Longmont. The current director is term limited. So I said, I'll give it a try. Um, I like, I want to help people. I want to make public transportation better. He set out to collect signatures. Then the pandemic happened. Because of COVID, I wasn't able to get the same level of signatures. He says events that usually are signature gold mines, like the county fair, they were canceled. The grocery stores weren't too keen on letting someone stand outside in the middle of a pandemic either. I resulted to going door to door. He collected 269 signatures, of which the Secretary of State validated 209. He needed 250 to make the ballot. It definitely does not get people's blood flowing when they hear someone's running for the RTD board. Um, a lot of the people that I interacted with didn't even know we voted on this. He was the only candidate. Now, the RTD representative for Longmont will be selected by the Boulder County Commission, a position that doesn't seem awfully appealing is one that Ward still wants. The things that are the hardest to do and take the most guts to do are, from what I've found, the most rewarding and the most worthy to do. District I includes Boulder, Adams, and Weld counties. And state law says the county with the most eligible voters within the RTD district gets to pick the winner in situations like this. So the Boulder County Commission is still trying to figure out how they're gonna handle this process to pick a board director. This person would serve for two years, Kyle, and then they would open it back up for anyone who wants to try to run for that position. They could do it like a game of tag. Like it's like a tag, you're it. Like each person could <laughs> tag another resident and they can't say no. They have to serve. Uh, more importantly, Steve, uh, did you get a haircut? Because it looks tremendous. No, uh, that was like three weeks ago. In fact, I think I'm due for another one, but maybe I'll keep it the way it is. Wow. Oh, no, 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 dude, the sides are tight. It looks it looks real nice. It looks real nice. Yeah, just ride that wave, baby. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we'll talk tomorrow. I will.